Hi, I'm Tom, and this is Adult Game Reviews. I haven't had a sponsored review in a while, and I was lucky enough to have AGL Studio contact me about their live 2D animated choose-your-own-adventure visual novel, Best Elf. Have you ever played D&D or Dungeons & Dragons? This is the vibe I got from Best Elf. Best Elf is the sequel to Faulty Apprentice, which was first released in 2019. I get quite a few emails from developers wanting me to review their game at this point. I welcome any to email me, but I obviously don't review many. Something has to really catch my eye for me to choose it. So why did I choose Best Elf? Well, I love the art style, and and I love elves. I get that the art style is very niche, but you have to decide for yourself. I saw two attractive elves and said, Shut up and take my money. Now, I have never played Faulty Apprentice, so I truly went in blind. From what I know, Faulty Apprentice can technically be called an adult game, but it's very light. So Best Elf is a lot more graphic than Faulty Apprentice is. So a little bit about Best Elf. It's releasing today on Steam and has a price tag of $12.40, but will have a 20% release sale and will cost $9.99. How Faulty Apprentice was monetized was an initial game release with future quests costing a couple of bucks. I assume Best Elf will do the same. The whole campaign with three playthroughs took about four hours. By the way, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. I usually like to do a giveaway with a sponsor review, but I'm out of the U.S. for a few weeks, so I'll do a giveaway when I get back into town. So make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss out. So Best Elf is legit, just like a D&D one-shot. You play the apprentice of the greatest wizard, Durandal. You have his two familiars shown here. You have the archer, Elena, and my personal favorite, the rogue, Zarina. Elena challenges Zarina to a Best Elf competition after Zarina continuously messes with Elena. So it's up to you to judge the competition. However, you end up finding out that one of the guards has been poisoned and it's up to you and the crew to figure out who got poisoned and why. So straight into lewd content. If you like the art style, you'll probably enjoy the lewd content. It's not super involved. There are a total of three-ish scenes per path you take with some minor animations. There is music and sound effects and the production quality was really well done. And there's voice acting. Not every character in every scene is voice acted, but here's an example. A boy is dreaming of girls, yes? A girl hopes it was a naughty dream then. A girl would be happy to make a boy's dreams come true. So this is pretty much a straightforward choose your own adventure style visual novel. It was super low emotional investment and was pure just kind of candy. I had fun with the lighthearted dialogue, the beautiful renders, and the fun little one-off story. I might have been more invested if I played Faulty Apprentice, but even without it, I enjoyed it. I think if I had played Faulty Apprentice, I would have understood some of the references to, like, let's say the great battle, but it didn't seem to matter that much. The dialogue was well written. You have minimal choices with the overall story, but your decisions do affect which of the three paths you're on. So pretty standard. Your choices matter with the girls, but not as much with the story. There is one part you have to fight a monster and you can fail that, so that was pretty fun. So the biggest question for me was, it was hard for me to decide if the full price was worth the four hour campaign time. You need to play through all three times to hit that four hour mark. It was super close for me because four hours is pretty short, but the production value was really hot. So my verdict, if you want a lighthearted four hour choose your own adventure style D&D campaign with the three paths, then this is a buy or a wait for a sec. If this sounds like something right up your alley, like it was for me, then you'll probably enjoy it if you buy it. But if you're kind of lukewarm on it, especially with the high price tag for such a short campaign, you may want to wait. Let me know what you think if you played Faulty Apprentice or if you plan on picking up the best elf on the Steam release. Thanks to AGL Studios for the key and check out my review of the Headmaster next week. Until next time.